Elon Musk is known for his companies Tesla and SpaceX, but Neuralink is his latest endeavor. The Brain Machine Interface Company has been accused of conducting painful experiments on monkeys. This is absolutely crazy, and did you know there's some new information and even proof of this situation? Let's dive in. Wait, what is Neuralink? Neuralink, for those who don't know, is a brain machine interface company founded by Elon Musk. The goal of the company is to create implants that would allow humans to control computers with their thoughts. Essentially, Musk has tested and teased this company over several years, even claiming that it'll eventually be able to allow humans to merge with AI, as well as cure diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and even paralysis. This is something that many have been skeptical about, and for good reason. After all, the idea of connecting human brains to computers is pretty wild. Although there's no shortage of those who believe it could be beneficial for mankind in the long run, it's still an incredibly controversial topic. Now, there are reports that Neuralink has been conducting experiments on monkeys, and people are rightfully outraged. Has Elon Musk done things like this in the past? Before we get into all the juicy details and proof of this situation, it's important to note that this isn't the first time Elon Musk has been accused of doing something controversial. After all, he's no stranger to public scrutiny. In fact, many have accused him of everything from being a narcissist to being a sociopath. For example, he's been known to overwork his employees to the point of exhaustion, which has led some to believe that he's a terrible boss. There have also been several reports of him behaving inappropriately as well, and there's been no shortage of controversial comments made through his platform on Twitter, as well as other social media platforms. Beyond this, Musk has recently been in some hot water with Twitter, as he originally intended to buy it, but later opted out. In doing so, he struck the hornet's nest and actually caused Twitter to drop a lawsuit his way, which is still being settled. All of this is to say that, although Musk is an incredibly intelligent man who has accomplished a lot, he's no stranger to public scrutiny or controversy. What happened with the monkeys? Now that we know a little bit more about Neuralink and Elon Musk, let's get into what's currently going on with the monkeys. According to a new report from the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, UC Davis has released 371 photographs related to monkey experiments that were conducted by Neuralink non-profit group, namely the Physicians Committee, sued UC Davis back in February in order to obtain these photographs and videos. Although originally UC Davis refused to release them, they've now had a change of heart. This is likely due in part to the public outcry and pressure that had been placed on them as of late, and the fact that the lawsuit had finally been settled. According to reports, it seems that the experiments in question took place between the years of 2017 and 2020. In these experiments, electrodes were implanted into the brains of of monkeys in order to test a brain-machine interface. As you can imagine, this caused a lot of pain and suffering for the animals in question. In fact, many of them even died as a result of the experiments. This of course has led to a public outcry, as well as an investigation into the situation. How did this happen? According to reports, it seems as if Neuralink experimenters actually cut holes into the skulls of monkeys in order to implant electrodes in their brains. This is, of course, an incredibly painful and invasive procedure. Procedure. Not only that, but it's also important to note that these monkeys were kept in cages for the majority of the time, which is also cruel and inhumane. In the end, it's safe to say that these experiments were nothing short of a nightmare for the animals in question. Unfortunately, it seems as if they were nothing more than test subjects for Neuralink. What's even worse is the fact that these experiments took place at UC Davis, which is a public university. This means that the public actually paid for these experiments to take place, which is an absolute travesty. What did people have to say about this? Ryan Merkley, the Director of Research Advocacy with the Physicians Committee, had this to say on the matter. UC Davis thinks the public is too stupid to know what they're looking at, but it's clear the university is simply trying to hide from taxpayers. The fact that it partnered with Elon Musk to conduct experiments in which animals suffered and died. This is a valid point, and it's one many people seem to agree with. After all, if UC Davis is trying to hide these photographs, it's likely because they're trying to avoid public scrutiny. Unfortunately, it seems as if they're going to have a hard time doing so, as the cat is now out of the bag. In fact, more than 600
600 pages of records have already been released by UC Davis that show the suffering of these animals. This includes everything from chronic infections to seizures and paralysis. In some cases, the experimenters even used an unapproved adhesive called bioglue in order to fill holes in the skulls of monkeys, which actually seeped through to their brains. Warning to anybody watching, the next account is slightly graphic. But in one case, a monkey was left bleeding in her brain after the use of bioglue, and she vomited so much from the side effects that she developed open sores in her esophagus. This is just one example of the horrors that these animals had to endure. What did Musk have to say about this? Currently, it seems that in the face of these accusations, many of which are extremely serious, Musk hasn't had anything to say. After all, this isn't the first time his company has been accused of doing something controversial. With many of the other reports coming out, it's safe to say that this is a public relations nightmare for Musk and Neuralink. Thankfully, there are people who are fighting against experiments like these, and the Physicians Committee has been one of them. After all, they've been fighting case after case against various universities and companies in an attempt to put an end to cruel animal experiments. Despite all of this, and the fact that Musk himself is yet to respond, his company Neuralink did release a statement on the matter. So what did Neuralink have to say? Ultimately, the response was short but did cover some of the basics. Recent articles have raised questions around Neuralink's use of research animals at the University of California Davis Primate Center. It is important to note that these accusations come from people who oppose any use of animals in research. Currently, all novel medical devices and treatments must be tested in animals before they can be ethically trialed in humans. Neuralink is not unique in this regard, the company states. At Neuralink, we are absolutely committed to working with animals in the most humane and ethical way possible. This is an interesting statement and one that's likely meant to diffuse the situation. However, it's important to note that Neuralink also doesn't deny anything in this statement. Instead, it seems to suggest that experiments like these are necessary in order to create better medical devices. This, of course, is a controversial opinion and one that many people would disagree with. What's next for Neuralink? At this time, it's unclear what the future holds for Neuralink. Given the public outcry and all of the controversy, it's safe to say that it'll be a while before we hear anything from the company in regard to new developments or projects. This may be especially true if more information is released from the current case against Neuralink, as well as UC Davis. Not only that, but given the fact that Elon Musk himself hasn't had anything to say on the matter, it seems unlikely that we'll hear anything from him either. Could this be the end of Neuralink? It's hard to say what will happen in the future, but it's also possible that this could be the end for Neuralink. After all, if Elon Musk continues to be involved with a company that has been accused of such horrible things, he could find himself in some hot water. Not only that, but other companies and investors might be hesitant to work with him in the future as well. This, of course, is speculation at this point, but it's something that's worth considering. It's safe to say that all eyes are on Neuralink at the moment. It's also important that we mention the fact that all of this is simply allegations, and nothing has been decided in a court of law as of yet. Because of this, it's important not to jump to conclusions. However, given the seriousness of these accusations, it's also important to pay attention to what's happening so that we can make sure that justice is served. That's it for this video though. What do you think? Do you think it was a case of animal cruelty? If so, what do you think should happen to Neuralink? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.